Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Soul Killer here. So I really, really, really should be uh, putting on an episode. Wait, did I just switch this to German? Oh god. Okay. Um. Anyways, oh, hold on. I got this. Don't worry. I know so much German. Um. Fuck, that messed me up. Uh, I probably should be putting up an episode of Amnesia today, being the day that this comes up, but I'm not because it's already really late in the day. Um, tomorrow I'll probably have Amnesia, tomorrow being Sunday. So you guys have that to look forward to. This is a daily challenge, obviously, so I'm a little nervous. I'm getting a little framey too. Oh, no! Oh. I bet a lot of people died there. I nearly died there. And I am a Spelunky professional. Most certainly. Anybody who watches this channel knows that, that is not at all the truth, but we can we can let me live in my delusional state for a little while, right guys? In fact, if I could just play like a Spelunky professional for the next few minutes, that'd be awesome. Looks like that's not going to happen, so I'm just gonna waste a rope because uh we need Monty because I've got my ass kicked so far because I haven't played Spelunky in a while. Like, since the last recording session. I just haven't been playing Spelunky lately because I've been really busy trying to get to... Okay. Anyways, I've been really busy trying to get to uh, my promotional series is for Silver Felt 1 for League of Legends. The reason I haven't been recording that is because League of Legends, I've discovered over the time that I shortly recorded it, is really difficult to talk over while playing like really difficult and honestly it, it I mean it just messed me up it made it really difficult to play and I just couldn't I could not commentate while playing and still be playing well or commentating well for that matter those uh, videos have some really weak commentary in them which is understandable I mean the only games that really had any real talkativeness were the ones in which I was duo queuing and that's because I had somebody to talk to who was in the game with me like, if you ask me to do a shoutcast of a match, I might be able to, but if you ask me to do something like that, where it's just me by myself, talking about what's going on, it's going to mess up my play. So, I hope nobody's too bitter about that. If you are, please, send me an inbox, uh, to, send me an inbox on here, like, actually message me, and I'll at least go into more detail as to why that series is done. And maybe we can make peace with each other, and you'll love me, and I'll love you, and you'll stay subscribed to me forever, and ultimately join the evil empire that I'm forming under my regime as YouTube commander. I'm just gonna, just giving you a second to let that sink in that you're listening to the new overlord of YouTube. Self proclaimed, of course, so far. But trust me, I'll get others. They'll come in droves. So, first floor, 5 health, 1,200 gold, or, yeah, 12,000, sorry, not 1,200, that'd be terrible. 12,000 gold, pretty good, I guess, I mean, no complaints. There was a huge amount of gold right there, almost landed on those spikes, that would've made me a really sad, sad man. Oh, fuck you, snake. And not snake, like, solid snake. Alright, this is a little technique I saw on a video recently. And then what you do is, hold on, you gotta go a little further. Whoa! That wasn't supposed to happen. That was not part of the plan. Chill, bro. I messed it up. I really did. Alright, we're gonna try it again. Because I know I can do that, what I know how to do. Alright, so that arrow trap is not triggered. Whew. That was some scary stuff, but I, I outplayed the game there. I'm not going to go for that extra pot. It's probably it's probably like a 500 foot demon in there. Yama is in that pot, guys. Alright. How are we going to do this? Okay, we're going to come over here, grab all this. Grab the pot. And then take the pot... Oh, my God. This is the damsel. Yeah, she's worth it. All 
All right, how am I gonna do this? She'll take the shot, right? She did. Cool. Thank you, woman. You are the best Vanna White in the world. You know, like all the other millions of Vanna Whites that I've made out with in this game. Well, maybe not millions, but at, at least a solid hundred. At least. Like, that's... That is lowballing myself really well. <clears throat> Again, like, these situations don't normally occur in Spelunky. I like how I was in the invulnerability period, so I took one damage and then ate, like, two. Matic. That is going to be helpful once we get the Ujet Eye. Ooh, and there's an altar. The damsel just became worth a million times more than the average damsel. Alright. Worth that. Alright. We're just going to calmly sacrifice her. For the spectacles, which allows us to see gemstones. And gives us a wider field of vision by, I believe it's one or two blocks on dark levels. So It's a nice upgrade, I guess. It, it does things. Here, we're going to make up any gold deficit we're lacking. Not that it really matters, considering this is going to be a shop killer. Shopkeeping killer. Shop Helen Keller run. We're going to shop for Helen Keller on this run. Did you know she was blind, deaf, and mute? Think about that, guys. You don't have it that bad. Whatever in your life's going wrong, just take a second and think. There are people way less fortunate out there. So if you're pro... Chances are that if you are watching my video right now, you're really cool because you're watching my videos. Obviously, you're cool. And the other one being that, hey, you have a computer. Helen Keller never got to play video games. I don't even know if Helen Keller was alive in the correct time to be playing video games, but, uh, you know. And Frank would have been a believer, so it's all good. We're just going to restart this run. That was bad. That was poor play. That snake was Lord of the Snakes. He made me sad on the inside and made me bleed on the out. Alright, this is going to be the run. This run, we're going to go to Olmec. We're going to beat Olmec. You know what? In fact, this isn't even a gold run anymore. This is literally just make it to Olmec. If I can collect gold, I definitely will, but it is it is not even a secondary concern. It is definitely a tertiary concern. We're just going to beat Olmec. Oh, but we are going to get that crate. Three ropes. That will ensure our survival a little bit more. Monty lived. That's all that matters. Alright. Solid play. Had to kind of had to kind of run around there for a moment, but it's all good. Give a kiss from that adorable pug. Oh, this is a bad shop. Oh. Alright, so I guess we take the mystery box. And we put it right here. And then we do this. I need paste. I need paste bad. Um, I guess what we're going to do is just try a ballsier technique. I mean, if I can kill shopkeepers and make it all the way to Olmec, I'd be pretty happy with this run. What the fuck just happened there? I, I, I whipped him and he should have been like, oh! Like, he should have gotten stunned. Alright, here we go. First floor, we're just gonna we're just power through it. We're gonna go for kind of a semi speed run to Olmec. All right. I don't think we're actually gonna make it. Like speed run requirements is eight minutes. There's no way I'm that good. But if I ha like, I'll slow it down as needed. But if I can, I'm pretty much just gonna be running straight for Olmec. Oh, you're you're an unlucky man. Holy shit, did he live? Whoa. 
Okay, well, he's dead. So now we can go rob his store for its climbing gloves. And then we'll break through here. We could get the Ujet Eye, but we're not going to. Um, we do need paste. So we'll just blow you up. There we go. It would. It would land there. Actually, we can just do that. We need the damsel, obviously. And we're just going to leave the Matic because this is not a money run. In case you haven't noticed, I just killed a shopkeeper. That means the rest of them are all going to be angry with me for the rest of the game. Which means we have larger concerns than money. Yes, that was long enough. I was a little worried. Um, there we go. This is what I was looking for. We're going to need the shotgun to protect ourselves from the rest of the shopkeepers. So I did just make the game significantly harder, but every time there's a shop, I can now go to the shop and, you know, get whatever goodies li lie in wait for me. I, I'm just going to practice getting to Olmec over and over, and then one day, one day, we'll make it to Yama, guys. It's, it's my new official goal, like, for Spelunky, is to make it eventually to Yama. Not like this run, not like any... Any run in the near future, just soon. Like, like this year, at least. If I can't make it to Yama within a year, there's some big problems. Alright. How are we going to deal with this guy? We're going to wait for him to turn around. That was not what I wanted to do! He shot first. We shot at the same time. How? That guy is a professional murderer of men. Alright, things we need bombs. Maybe we'll kill shopkeepers, maybe we won't. Depends on if the opportunity presents itself. But we need to play it smart like not that. I was just giving a quick example of what we're not going to do for the rest of the run. That's all that was. I swear that was not an actual mistake. If you thought that was an actual mistake, you need to get your eyes checked because I clearly did that just to test to see if you guys were paying attention and to see if you noticed how hilarious it was that I said that we're going to be making like very few mistakes and then I just jumped off of a cliff. You guys are silly. You thought I made a mistake. I don't make mistakes. I only, I only have calculated damages. Alright, maybe we can get a Kapala. I'd like to get a Kapala. That'd be cool. Spike shoes, alright. I actually really like the spike shoes. Thank you, game. For once, for once, the game didn't troll the shit out of me. Oh, then it trolled the shit out of me. Not cool. Oh, this is the easiest shopkeeper. All we get out of it is three bombs, but I mean, look, look at the, look at the amount of skill that was required there. Zero, which is about how much I have in killing shopkeepers. You know, if you're going to do a shop killer, keeping, kill and run, then you need to kill into the first flame run, or I don't even know anymore. The kill into the first flame. That, that's all you, we need to talk about. Let's just talk about Dark Souls. How about that? Okay, you need to jump over my head. I, I didn't know they could do that. Alright, alright, alright. I'm putting on my serious face. I'm going to be talking like this for the rest of the episode. No, not really. Although, it would be kind of fun, but no. I don't know if there's a way in. I don't really care. Alright. Rope. Bombs. So, effectively, got two bombs, three ropes, one health this floor. And I punched that snake in the face with the tip of my whip. So that's all that matters to me. My whip tip got a little bit of blood on it. Oh, hey look, another damsel. Come here. I said come here. Don't make me beat you again. There aren't phones down here. Domestic abuse hotline cannot come help. Why do I always take it to such a dark place with that? Ooh, oh. Well, you're a very unlucky shopkeeper. You know why? Because you got a jetpack.
No, that was bad. That was all bad. No. What the fuck just happened there? Like, the bomb pushed me, and then... Oh, this has been an amazing run of form. This has not been my best run of form for killing shopkeepers, ever. Alright. Five, five health. What is it? We're not worried about money. We're just trying to make it to Olmec with enough supplies to actually beat Olmec. The only reason I'm collecting money at all is if, like, I see an item and I can't afford it and there's no reason to kill the shopkeeper, then yeah, I'm not going to kill him for no reason. I'm not an asshole. But if he has something I want and I can't afford it, damn right, he, yeah, I'm going to try to kill him. Okay. Hey, guys, do you think that shopkeeper has something I may or may not want? Are you kidding? Wow. He is the most manly of all men. I would like to know how he just did that. Like, he died. Wow. Oh, my God. I can't even kill myself, right? Are you kidding me? All right, news time. And hang. Whew. Alright, alright, all right, all right. I said now, ladies. What's cool to being cool? Ice cold. Oh, get owned. What are we going to do about this? Okay. And then we're going to go over here. Can we do a no gold run, maybe? I mean, it's not impossible, I guess. Alright, I'll... I'll try for a no gold run. If I pick up gold, it's just going to become an Olmec run. <coughs> Please note that the no gold run is extremely difficult to accomplish. E oh. Yep, well, there goes the no gold run already. That was... I would have had to have burned, like, two or three ropes and a bomb. If, unless there's something that I don't know about Spelunky, which is probably pretty likely. I definitely am not as well versed in the specifics of this game as I am with the Binding of Isaac. You got, you got what I want. Wait, you're not that kind of shopkeeper. Damn it. How are you supposed to... Oh, you're supposed to whip him from behind the counter and then steal a shot. Oh... I was wondering how I've seen some YouTubers just like whip him and then he dies. That's how. I figured it out. I'm now going to be the greatest shopkeeper killer of all time. Shopkeeper killer. Shopkeeper killer. That's hard to say. Shopkeeper killer. But I got it now. Oh. Oh my god. Did I just do that? The plays. I, I, I didn't pick up the shotgun. Like, I knocked the shotgun out of his hands and then went for the shotgun. But I missed. That guy's probably reporting me for feeding. But it's okay. Here we go. Into the land of magic and rainbows. Now, there will be another shopkeeper here. Oh. Fuck you, then. <laughs> that works. Well, this floor was pretty good. Spike shoes paste. Any crates? Can I get to you? No. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not gonna save you, Pewdie. Sorry. Oh, we have to waste a bomb here. I don't like that. 
do we... Yeah, but it's right there. You know, for the sake of saving me a lot of time and making me go along paths that I just don't know where they're at, I'm just going to bomb this one. I would normally completely not do that, but... <sighs> I'm just kind of shocked that we actually survived the, se the second floor for once. Pitcher's mitt, not worth it. And we're good. Going on to the next floor because I'm awesome for once. I actually played that really well, and I don't think anybody could say otherwise. I lived. This is what I was worried about. This is like the definition of what I was worried about. No. Now we gotta play escort mission for two items instead of one. Okay. And that'll take us to the bottom floor. So there's going to be a shopkeeper here still. So we have to keep aware of that fact. We can't we can't let our diligence slip. I shot first. Let's go Bessie. Onward into the jungle, I think. Yes. We made it to the jungle while killing shopkeepers. I think I'm officially the best Belunky player on earth. Alright, you can jump in there. <laughs> Have fun in B land. As much as I would like to have the royal jelly, I'm not going to get it. Actually, wait, he's stuck. So you know what? I will get it. Or that little bee will kill me. I was trying, guys. I really was. That was that was decent. I'm getting better. You can you can tell that there was a little progress made this episode. All right. Well, if you would please rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. Thank you for your time, and I will see you later.